it is well. That he which has begun a good work in you, watch this, will perform it until the end. So as long as you're alive and Jesus ain't come yet, he ain't done with you yet. Until God is doing, talk to somebody say, God is doing a good work in you. Not a bad work. A good work. And we have to be confident. Some of you are going to go back and face your problems now with confidence. Saying, I am confident that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it. Anybody say perform. Performance is an active word. God is at work performing, restructuring, renewing, rebuilding, restoring, repairing. There's a big sign over your life saying, I am under construction. It is well. <laughs> oh, glory to God. And as I close, Hear what Job says, 5.22 At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. You going through famine and the word of God telling you you need to laugh? What, you going crazy or something? If you lost the plot? No, you ain't lost the plot, mate. <laughs> it's just, it's about knowing who you are. The word of God says that at destruction, that means the devil could be going rampant and there could be famine. But look at your spiritual condition. I will laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Job 5 22. I wind up. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we stand? Oh, oh, it's a God. Oh, the woman of the Shunammite woman said, It is well. That miracle that I experienced, it was awesome. Later on in life, that miracle, the devil come and tried to kill it. But you know what? I was not accepting it. I used to consult the man of God. Hallelujah. God came in the situation and turned it around. I need to say to somebody today, it is well with you. You may say, Joel, I don't feel like it is well. You're going to have to use your mouth. One of the things I'm learning, the power of your tongue. You're going to have to change your language. You're going to have to talk like a child of the king. Change your language and stop accepting defeat and speaking negative stuff over your life. You need to begin to prophesy over yourself. Lay hands on yourself. Lay hands on your home. Lay hands on your pocketbook. Lay hands on your home and prophesy. We are prophets of your future. Embrace your future. Walk out of here today and say, it is well. Yeah. Oh yes, the devil may try to put all kind of foolishness in your head. But the Bible tells me that yeah, for the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal. But they are mighty true God to the putting down of strongholds. And watch this, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. It means the devil tries to put things in your head. Stronghold, build fortresses, build up lies, build up confusion, build up discouragement, build up fear. I'm telling you, it's not all right. You're going down, but you're going to say, What? I'm getting a hold of that thought and I'm putting it under my feet. It's under my feet. Whew, Jesus. I know the altar looks quite small. 
But if anybody needs special prayer right now, I want you to come. Make a declaration. And you're going to say, you're going to change it from is it well to it is. They ask, they, 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 they ask the prophet, ask the woman the question, is it well with your husband? Is it, is it? She turned around and said, it is well. It is well. That's the thing. We, we, we didn't put up there, is it well? That's not the theme of this convention. We put, it is. Yes. We switched the word around. Yes. Yes, I want you someone to come to the altar right now and let's make it, it is. Yes. Come, declare war and say, declare war on the devil. This is your purpose, this is your destiny. Come. It is well. Legal matters. Financial matters, relationship matters, health matters, church matters. Come in his way. Hallelujah.